Oh, why, hello there, guys. Welcome back to another 25 Days of Alexa Christmas video. It's a normal scheduled video, uh, which means that this is a series that is going to go uh, every week for the month of December. And then uh, I'm kind of taking statistics from these to figure out what you guys actually want to see so that after Christmas uh, I can make a, a decent guess as to what uh, would be best for the channel. This is Slay the Spire. Uh, this is a game that I played a very long time ago on the channel. Uh, around a year ago now. Um, I rekindled my love for this game. I really loved this game before uh, when it came out and I was originally playing it. This is a game by Mega Crit Studios, by the way. Um, but And they gifted me the game, so I, I, I feel... Uh, a little obligated to at least shout them out and tell you how great this game is. And, and I mean that, uh, sincerely. It, it is very, very good. And it's it's slowly creeping back into my uh, I-can't-take-my-hands-off-of-it kind of thing. And, and I'll chat about that a little bit uh, once we get into a run. This is a roguelite, uh, similar to Isaac and Gungeon and Spelunky and all of your favorite roguelites. Except this is a card game. Uh, so it has components of, like, a Hearthstone, but mixed with roguelite. Uh, and it's very, very good. So we're going to do a standard run as the original character, which is Ironclad. Uh, I'm pretty bad with this guy. I'm really good with this guy. Uh, I'm pretty bad with Ironclad, but we'll make it work. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, and I'll kind of walk you through everything that's going on here. So we start out, we, we talk to uh, a big, fat, ugly whale. Uh, this is Penta Hybrid. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to... Eh, I mean, it's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. We're going to lose 8 max HP. And we're going to obtain a rare relic. So these up here are our relics, not to be confused with Rally from the Discord. Uh, right now, at the end of combat, we're going to heal 6 HP. So right now, we have 80 HP points. Uh, we lose 8 max HP. We're going to go down to 72. But we're going to get another random rare relic, which is going to show up up here. And these could be really, really strong and powerful. Uh, so as a good thing to know, we got money that we can spend on our run. Uh, we got potions that we can do. Uh, we can see our deck. So this is our current deck and, and we will expand this and change this and upgrade this all throughout the run And you're gonna see that uh, as we go And then we also have our map which we're gonna get to choose uh, what path we're going down shortly And I'll kind of tell you how I choose my paths. I'm gonna tell you right now if you are a Slay the Spire fan You might not want to watch any of these videos because it could get bad uh, I am NOT very good at this game uh, for each curse in your deck, start each combat with one strength. I hate this, uh, because I don't like having curses. So that's a little bit of a crappy one for Tyler, but that's okay. I like to fight bosses in Act 1, so I'm gonna take this path here. It gets us through a ton of question marks too, which can be anything. But now we're in our main gameplay loop. This man's attacking for 11. I can't really do a whole hell of a lot but defend, uh, against that. So I use two of my, uh, defend cards right here. Gain 5 block. Uh, spend one energy. We start out with three energy. We can get more uh, as the game goes on, but then I'll also strike him for a nice six damage. We will take one hit here, but keep in mind we heal for six at the end of this. So as long as we don't take more than uh, six hits here, that's all I care about. So he is currently going to block and use a buff. I'm going to make him vulnerable and then beat the crap out of him because that is what I do. So is good and he's going to strengthen himself up and he's gonna hit for 10 which I will hopefully be able to defend as we do he's still vulnerable so his block is gonna go away this is the core gameplay loop of the game and I'm gonna move a little bit quickly because uh, partially because um, we're gonna be here all day <laughs> uh, if I don't move quickly um, Slay the Spire runs can get pretty long. I have no idea whether or not I'm going to split this up into two videos. If I do split it up, I'm going to upload them um, back to back days. Okay, so at the end, you get to you get rewards, and you you always get to pick a new card. Uh, and this is where I, I'm, I'm going to talk strategy. I'm very I'm very absent minded right now. I'm talking about a lot of different stuff. Um, this is where I get a little bit weird with the game because I'm finding the more I play the more I like to make my deck small. I like to only have like 20 cards circulating in my deck. So I don't really care for any of these, but I'm gonna take Thunderclap because maybe we can do some kind of run focusing around making enemies vulnerable uh, and go down that route and then deal heavy damage. So it's a heavy damage, heavy vulnerable 
run is what I'm going for right now. So we walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers, stop. So what do we got here? You swerve around so we can lose 7 HP but gain 75 gold. Or I can go 50% good face, 50% bad face. I have no idea what that means, so sure. For me, for me, oh yes, yes, yes. Mm, nice face, nice face. Okay, so we got face of cleric. At the end of combat, raise your max HP by one. Holy crap, that's really good. So this is the shop. This is me. Uh, this is literally me. And this gives us the ability to... Uh, do a bunch of fun stuff. So this kind of sucks because Apotheosis is so, so good. Uh, and I don't have the opportunity to get it. And Toxic Egg is so good. And I don't have the opportunity to get it because of my uh, lack of HP. So are there any of these we care about? Uh, no, not really, I don't think. Some of them are okay. Uh, this for 24 is okay, but I, I really have no interest in any of these. I'm just going to continue on. We're going to go route that takes us to boss fight although you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do this no it, i mean we're gonna do this because now we get another shop just in case there's something else here it's another apotheosis you're an absolute pain in the rear let me tell you uh gain a block draw a card is very good seeing red is also very good because it allows us to gain um, energy on that turn. Mana that we can use. I do kind of want to buy both of these. They, they play very well together. Because uh, you play both of them, you get a card back, but you get energy in return. You know, this is basically you're just getting a free energy back. Um, but it exhausts. And exhaust means that it's removed until the end of combat. I think I'm going to honestly hold off. I, I know I said I wanted both. And instead I'm walking out buying nothing. We're going to get cards, and I'm not concerned about that in the slightest. Uh, we'll, we'll get cards, and we'll be fine here. Uh, let's see. He'll be vulnerable for the next turn. We might as well just crank the damage on him. He's going to buff himself. This is what... Literally, some of these attack patterns, you just get used to knowing what these people are going to do. Uh, he's going to hit for... We might as well block... Oh, we shouldn't actually block all that damage, because uh, we're going to heal at the end of the turn anyway. So, a little bit of a misplay. We should have hit him more here but now we can do another nice vulnerable gain some block this is gonna hit for four but i should be able to kill him on the next turn uh barring we don't get literally jack crap horrible cards but no we are quite fine get him deaded give me a good card i'm looking for oh gambler's brood discard any number of cards and draw them any so that's a potion that we will use add a card we got another thunderclap man uh this is a good one for a run that focuses around hurting yourself. But we don't really have anything else that is uh, in that camp. So I'm not going to go down that route. Uh, this guy's annoying. He's a bit of a pain in the rear. Uh, at the end of the turn, gains 8 block. It can be very, very frustrating. But that's okay. We'll hit him. He's awake and he's ready to attack. And he's going to do attacks. Let me tell you that. So he's stunned for this turn. And now this turn, he's attacking 18. We can't defend 18, um, so we're going to do the best we can. We're going to hit him with a vulnerable. I'm going to hit him with another vulnerable. It's now three turns he's vulnerable, and that's really good. We're getting hit for a lot here, but it's a boss. We're going to feel pain here. That That's just what happens with this. You got to defend a little bit, but then, you know what? Keep on applying vulnerable. The more we keep this guy hurting... Uh, the more our attacks are going to do, I'm taking a beating, but, but that's going to happen. Uh, and you sometimes just have to kind of accept that you're going to take a beating. It's going to be okay. So he's attacking me, uh, with a buff. My strength is down and my block I get from cards is down. Boy, that's a real pain in the ass, isn't it? Uh, G give me some more vulnerable on this man. I'm going to get hit for 10 here. Uh, this is a really sucky fight to get in uh, this early on. Th I mean, this guy blows 95% of the time. Hit me for another friggin' 18. And there's not much I can do about this. I have this crap, like, forever here. So he's just going to continue to smack me around. Uh, give me more vulnerable. And give me 7 damage. 
realistically, we should be able to kill him uh, on this turn. Although, my strength being down, probably not. Bash is going to do 9. There's no way, dude. Uh, and block is barely even worth it. We're, we're going to do this. We'll kill him on the next turn, but we are weak. Uh, and what's wrong with that? A lot is wrong with that. Thanks for asking, AJ friggin' R. Uh, okay, so you're dead. We're gonna get a relic out of this, which is good. And we just healed, which is good. Blood Vial at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP. That's incredible for a run. And now I'm interested in rocking a run that focuses around hurting yourself. So Combust is really good. At the end of your turn, lose HP and deal 5 damage to all enemies. So at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP. Let's rock a weird run that involves hurting ourselves. Now here, we're, we're at a rest area, which means that I can rest and heal for some of my HP. Or I can upgrade cards. I'm pretty confident in my ability to kill enemies, okay? So I'm going to upgrade cards. I'm not going to upgrade this. I don't think that's the right thing to upgrade. But 7 damage on Thunderclap now? That's pretty friggin' good. Thunderclap is going to become uh, a force to be reckoned with. So I think this is the right move. We're going to heal up a little bit. These guys are hitting for 15. Which means I'm going to be real with you. I have to block at least a little bit. Um, I'm then going to... You know what? I'm going to Gambler's Brew. I'm going to get rid of all this crap. I'm going to hit you with a double defend. Uh, we're going to take no damage here. I want to get a situation where we can knock out this little guy um, straight up. And that may be... Yeah, like, this is the perfect situation now. So we hit one of these. We kill off him. And then we just attack this guy. That does a nice nine. We should be able to knock him out in the next one. I don't know what he's going to... Uh, Debuff me with weakened. I mean, that's a sucky one, but it is what it is. Uh, we should still be good here. This guy, he simply just can't do enough damage to me uh, to ruin my day here. I should be good to kill him on this here. Eight damage, too vulnerable, and you are a dead friggin' slime. So, we're playing with fire a little bit right now, but that's okay. We got another thunderclap. I don't think we need it. I like flex a lot for high damage. So I'm going to take that. We get a relic out of this right here. Give me a good one. Oddly smooth stone. Start each combat with one dexterity. So dexterity improves block that you get from cards. Which now makes me think that maybe we should uh, take our time to uh, get some better block cards going. So let's upgrade thunder this other thunderclap. So now both of them are going to do seven uh, damage to all enemies. Which is pretty friggin' good. We get a free lantern. Which is so good. So we're going to start each combat with an additional energy. And that is just uh, too friggin' good for Tyler. Anytime you can get an extra energy uh, is a top tier scenario to be in. Because now we we have... We can pop three defense and still do damage. Uh, and that is a god tier scenario to be in. And we start with one dexterity. I should have noticed that. Because we could have... Uh, we could have done more although i suppose we didn't really have a whole hell of a lot that we were doing there anyway so let's let's take time here to hit these guys i should have done that first so that they had the vulnerable before i attack that guy again but uh mistakes are made and, and sometimes mistakes there's some mistakes that will ruin you uh and then there's some mistakes that simply won't ruin you this is a situation where this mistake is not going to ruin me uh because they are very dead. So this is just uh, the initial combat, which is fine. I mean, Lantern is still very good. That makes that first thing a heavy hitter, uh, and I'm fine with that. So Iron Wave, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. I like Shrug It Off as well, uh, but I like this a lot because we have that dexterity now that we're going to be uh, getting at the beginning. So this is a good way to get some damage in early, but also get some block in. I think that's pretty good. Let's do that. Let's make this guy vulnerable. Let's make this guy really vulnerable. We're going to get hit for four here, but keep in mind we heal uh, at the end of our turn. So, no big worries. The thief is annoying, by the way. Uh, he's a very annoying dude. So, nine damage, nine damage, nine damage. I may not be a mathematician. 
but nine times three is much greater than whatever his HP was. Uh, so the thief, basically, he will eventually just run away and, uh, and flame sounds really good. Gaining two strength, uh, as a power means that that's going to stay. And that could be insanely strong. So we will rock that 100%. And you know what? I'm going to... We're going to do this right off the bat. I'm also going to gain strength from a turn. And then you're going to see how good this can be. 20 damage to this bad boy right off the bat. He's going to hit me for 6. Which means I'm not necessarily healing for a whole hell of a lot in this one. But we're basically going to break even. But it is what it is. Let's, uh... Let's see here. So that's going to do 10 damage to vulnerable. Then I'm going to be able to... Let's see. How do I want to do this? I can also heal, which is a good thing to know. We'll hit him for that. He's now vulnerable. That's going to do 12 damage. That's going to do 13 damage. 10 damage and 6 block. I, I feel like you gotta just do that. Uh, except the fact you're getting hit for 6. This really sucks because we're coming up on the final boss of uh, of the level. And that is going to uh, possibly end our run. But I'm going to say no. We're going to take another flex here as well. So this is where you go, okay, Tyler. Uh, how ballsy are you? The answer is I can be pretty ballsy here. Seven blocks, seven damage. I mean, that's that's real good. How ballsy am I? Do you think... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal and make sure that we are uh, as good to go. Oh, I should have went with the upgrade, dude. This is one of the easier bosses uh, that you can fight. So, we will... Crank the early damage on him. So he goes into a defensive phase after receiving damage. Uh, so in four hits, he will uh, go into a defensive phase. I know you're going, oh, 32 damage. He's going to annihilate you, Tyler. Uh, he's not going to annihilate you. And I can tell you that right off the bat, he's not going to annihilate me. Because he is now in this phase. And he will not be doing uh, that thing. Power. Th this power alarms me, okay? Because we don't really have a good synergy for it yet. So, I'm going to kind of abstain from using it. And we're going to try to build our run around taking damage. And we're going to we'll look out for cards that do that. Okay, so now we're in a situation. When we attack him, we're going to take damage. So, I don't necessarily want to do that a lot. Um, although, let's see. How do I want to do this? Um... Defend, flex. I'm going to take hits here, dude. Uh, I'd like him to keep a vulnerable for the next turn, though. It's a dangerous play because we're going to take six six bits of damage here. But um, really, the, the sharp hide is a pain in the ass, dude. Uh, it's so horrible to deal with. And now we're in a situation. He's hitting us for 16, and we may take even more damage from that. Um... You gotta just go all in here. So, pop these. This is going to give us block, but deal damage. So, let, let's start out with uh, popping this. Now, we do this. Good amount of damage on him. We take some damage as well, but that's okay. Uh, let's... Let's see. He's gonna hit for 16. That's 9, 7 damage I'm gonna take from this anyway. I will take 10 damage if I attack him here. Look, I'm, I'm playing ballsy. Uh, you get full HP if you beat the boss. Okay, he's 40 away. I'm going to take a uh, friggin' lot of damage here if I don't play this a little bit cautiously. I think... I'm going to be seven short. Okay. Um, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. That's 20 damage to the face right here. Yeah, that's going to hurt. I'm going to drink this heal potion. And then we're going to Thunderclap. And then we're going to Bash. He's now vulnerable these next couple turns. He's in defensive mode. 
There's the damn sharp hide. He's about halfway to dead, which is uh, a good start, mind you. I think this is a good time for us to get rid of those. I want defense, please. Oh, my lord. Okay. Well, now you have forced my hand. I will take six damage here. Which is good enough. 102. Boy, it's going to be close. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be close. Uh, whether or not we survive this is going to be very, very close. You got to make sure you do damage to him, but you have to also... Man, 15, dude. Um, We're dead. No, we're not dead. We got this. Okay. Um, Block. Damage and block damage we'll take eight hits here it, it's boy comes down to the wire let me tell you i got seven friggin hearts he's gonna block here i mean this is our time to just wail on him vulnerable and he's back in defensive mode the goal here is just don't even hit him unless you can kill him just defend Stay the hell away from his attacks. Although, you know what? Uh, this is worth it to do this. Because we can defend that attack. And now we're reaching a point where we, we might be able to just kill him on this turn. Depending on what you give me. A double flex very well. Yeah, yeah I, think we, I think we got this. Um, you do that. You do that. He's dead. Okay. A little, a little bit sketchy. A little bit sketchy. But, um, who am I to say a word? Here's the kind of crap that I'm interested in. Okay. Oh, boy, dude. These are these are all very, very good. Offering is legit. Uh, gives me extra energy, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, losing HP in the process, but we gain HP back. So keep that in mind. Uh, and now we have interesting stuff. So... We can gain more energy, which is really good. I don't want to start combat confused, so I don't want that. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. I don't want that. We take this. We may get some curses, and you know what? That's okay. We're now going to do our best to uh, avoid question. Well, I suppose it's kind of we're kind of just stuck now. Um, I'd like to fight bosses. I'd like to maybe take this path to get there. So let's... It's kind of six to one I've done in the other. Uh, let, let's start here. So second floor, we got new enemies. We got new stuff. Obviously, five energy we start with now. Which is crazy good. I really don't need to use offering on this hand. So let's... Uh, Let's pump, pump the jams, pump it up while your damage is stomping. Give me your gold. Yeah, you're a real pain in the ass. I'm going to tell you that right now, buddy. Uh, I will use offering if I need to use offering. That, that's what I'm going to say about that. Boy, these guys are very, very annoying, aren't you? Okay. Smack them around. You smack me right around, baby. Right around when you smack all around. When you smack all around, round. We're taking so many hits, dude. Uh, we need we need some better cards is a lot of the issue. I also need to not suck. That That's another real primary issue with what's going on here. I want to make sure I keep that very... I'm taking 16 hits here. Why are you the way you are? I don't want to take 16 hits. You son of a madman. All right. You do you. Whatever, uh, whatever you so desire, fine by me. We can probably just kill this guy by doing this. Now we do that, now we do that, and then he's dead. Boy, we literally lost, like, all of our HP on that one. Cleave is so good. I, I like Cleave a lot, and it's the kind of thing we need, I think. Uh, is a little bit of cleave action. Let's look. A little bit of cleave action definitely sounds way worse than I wanted to. Um, let's take a look at things that maybe can get rid of my HP for certain things. Like, I I'm going to be real. This is a great, great thing. 12 damage applied to weak. 
can be really good on bosses. Let's take a look at these real quick. Start each combat with one strength. Start of boss combats, heal. I mean, that's pretty good. Unplayable status cards can now be played. Whenever you play a status card, exhaust it. It's interesting, but I don't really care. Another flex intrigues me. This intrigues me. Start each combat with one strength, dude. I, how can I be mad, you know? How can I be mad? Well, we'll buy a lot. That's a bold move to buy that much, but that's fine. Uh, I will absolutely obtain a relic. We obtain Peace Pipe. I can remove cards from my deck at rest sites. Okay, so that put a curse in our deck. Let's take a look at this real quick. It's down here. It's unplayable, and we start with it in our hand, which is unfortunate because we are kind of building our run around... Um, we're building our run around having stuff in our hand at the beginning, but... It's okay. I am going to use an offering here. Because I'd like to get some more cards to work with here. I'd like to defend. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that. Uh, This legitimately kills my HP. Not my block. Some things will just hurt me. In which case my block can uh, kind of hold its own. But uh, that one is not one of them. So... This is fine. Literally, I keep on doing them in the wrong order. Somebody smack me, dude. Somebody smack me. I am playing very, very poor. It's very different playing this game commentating it versus not commentating it, let me tell you. So 20 damage to this guy. Honestly, he's dead. He's a dead boy. Uh, you can see right now, the run is starting to be formed. Yo, this is legit, though. This is super legit. This pl this plays into our thing perfectly. Uh, you rock an offering. Then you rock one of those. You have all the cards you ever need, basically. So he's going to do a negative status effect. I mean, honestly, you do you, buddy. Whatever you so desire. Uh, yeah. Lose HP. Give me more crap. That's fine. That's fine. And my turn. Honestly, not the best use of... Uh, of offering we've ever had. We, we gotta be a little bit careful, okay? A little bit careful. That we don't run into some worse scenarios here. Wow, you make those more expensive. That's really a big shame because that could have been so good. And now I'm going to take 8 damage from this. With a friggin' tail whip. He's gonna hit me for 22! What the hell, dude? Okay. I mean, I got to heal a uh, block at least a little bit on this one. We're going to need to... I know we have a rest site coming up. I wanted to remove that uh, curse card, but it's looking like... Oh, dude. I mean, I'm not going to complain about hitting this guy for 30. I can't quite... Boy, dude, we are going to have low HP here. I still... Oh, no. We, 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 that, that card was worth... Uh, way more. We can probably kill him here. He's also weakened. So, 12 damage. 15 damage, he's dead. Boy, dude, we gotta heal here. There's another upgrade of one of these, dude. Ah, uh, but this is, this is back to that same strategy. We just don't have enough going on yet to worry about that. Upgraded Shrug It Off is pretty good. I'm going to take that. Although, I, I really was interested in that, that previous one. I'd love to remove a card, but we need to rest because your boy's going to be an idiot and he's going to go fight this boss right here because he wants a... Uh... We're actually built pretty well for this guy. Um, I want to get ourselves a... How do I want to play this? We might honestly be... We take. Oh my god, he's hitting for 18 right here. Okay, well, we can play all of this. So keep that in mind. You're vulnerable. Why did I do that before popping strength? I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, do this. I understand that this isn't the brightest move either, but it's going to kill these guys off, which makes me think it's worth it. I'm still getting hit for 18 here, which blows. But that's okay, because he's going to take his sweet old time now. Dealing with uh, that. So give me some more cards. This is what I like to see. Double flex. 
vulnerable. I should have done that. Different order. Hit him with that. He's pretty low, dude. I'm going to continue to take a little bit of damage from this. Uh, every turn, I lose an HP to deal damage. And these guys are going to for sure hit me on this turn. But shrug it off and give me... Oh, dude. It's so risky, but you got to do it. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Give me one of those. We need to kill off these guys. Which we can do like that. He's now going to hit me. It's going to do nothing to me. And then I will be able to attack him. And realistically, we may be good to just kill him here, depending. So, play these in order. Yep, this one, this one, that one. He's dead. We get a relic. Oma Namori. Negate the next two curses you obtain. Sounds good to me. Upgraded cleave. Still okay with it. Continue to give me upgraded cleaves, and I will uh, be a happy camper. These guys are a pain in the ass, and I'm probably dead, honestly. Uh, I don't want to be over dramatic. But these guys suck, and I'm probably dead. So, I'm smoke bombing, and I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't want to fight them. Uh, there's no reason to. I'm going to do this, which is going to give me a curse. Open the gates, the next two curses. Let's go, okay. Every six turns, gain an untangible. Reduce all damage taken and HP lost to one. Every six turns. That's pretty good. And now we'll just continue to rock this garbage. So, 85 gold, I obtain a relic. But I will negate this curse, so I will take this relic. Play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Okay. Is that a gain one strength forever? Because that would be real damn good. This is another guy that sucks, though. He hits for 21 at the beginning. I remember that. Uh, we can play all of this. Vulnerable. Apply the weak, which is important because now he's only hitting for 15, which is manageable. Still sucks, because we're getting hit, but what you gonna do, I suppose. When in doubt, we can just annihilate him on this turn. Uh, do that, do that. Hit him for 8, hit him for 13. He literally, he gains block every friggin' turn. He's so annoying. I am, we're, this is a run that we are playing on basically eggshells right now. Because it's, uh... You gotta actually be kidding me, though. Uh, we're playing on eggshells because we have a very... It's a very precarious run. A lot can go really bad on this one, depending on what we get throughout this. So, like... I'm gonna be real with you. I don't want any of those. Uh, it's just a situation I don't want to have to deal with. I want to rest up. Because we're fighting another friggin' boss. The nice thing is, every boss... Oh, this dude's a pain in the ass. Every boss we fight, we get a relic out of. Which is good. We are actually going to defend this. Which is fantastic. But he has times he'll hit for like 40. So we gotta be a little bit careful. To say the least. Got an intangible. This thing goes from, like, room to room. That's even better to know. Okay. Shrug him off. That's not what I wanted. Weaken him. He's super weak, dude. Should have probably bashed him, but... Him being weak for the next couple turns... Uh, sign me up, man. That That is a nice thing to have. 15. And he's weakened. Really shows you what this son of a gun is like. We have a defend. Let's play this right here. I mean, we could do some massive damage to him for sure, but I want to do that first. Block 15 to him. Look, I'd love to play combust, but I'm, I'm going to play a little bit cautious here. We gain a strength now for the rest of our turn because we played three attacks, which is dope. We took some hits, but... I think that's okay. We got a wound. That's also okay. He's hitting me for 24, and there's not a lot I can do about it. And this is where you start to be a little bit concerned. So, draw cards. Lose HP in the process. Um, Vulnerable. 16. 
18, 16. That's 32 and 18. I'm going to hit him for 50. God, dude. Um. Right? Yeah. You got to block some of this, at least. We still need some block cards, dude. We, we need a way to defend ourselves or something. Uh, there, there's something I'm missing here that, I mean, we'll, we'll get it in due time. He's dead, but we'll, we'll get it in due time. Uh, we're absolutely, the, the relic land here is too strong. Impervious, gain 30 block. Double your block. It's like they were listening to me. Um, Impervious sounds pretty damn good. Uh, I know that it exhausts it, so we can only use that crap once. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing in the slightest. I'd love to make this card uh, always in my hand at the beginning. And there's a way you can do that. How do I want to do this? Um, Offering is, is a scary thing to use here. However, probably going to do it. Give me Bash, please. I... Please don't talk about that. Please do not talk about that. Uh, probably, arguably, one of my worst plays I've ever done. So, it's good. I'm really happy about it. Can you tell in my voice how happy I am that I took a card that makes me not do friggin... God, dude, I'm so mad. Okay, uh, well, this is okay, because we will block him here. I think you go for the vulnerable here. And flame is not normally worth two, so it's in our best interest to wait for that to be shook in a different direction. This is possibly the greatest thing this guy's ever done. He has... He borderline just made it impossible for himself to win which is uh let me tell you you're a real kind boy you stupid little snake man what an absolute idiot on that turn okay uh wait, yeah we're fine we're fine just honestly do that do that do that you're dead have a nice day heal up a little bit regen potion is a borderline pop immediately kind of thing Exhaust all non-attack cards, deal 20 damage, deal 12. Put a card, for a, a card from your discard pile on top of your draw. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take that. That could be useful for uh, doing some, some action to make sure we have a block on a certain turn. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be bad. I'm going to be real. He's going to inflict a negative thing on me as well, which I, I'm not overly happy about. Uh, let's, let's start regenning here. Let's, uh, gain some block. Let's do some vulnerable action. It's a shame that I'm not getting more cards at the beginning. I gotta find a way to get more cards. That That's on the to-do list, too. There are only three acts, so I say, like, oh, this is on the to-do list. We're running out of time to do a lot of this stuff. We gotta do this. He's sitting for 18. Got to do this. I think you eat the 18. And then... Crap. Um... I don't know why I thought that was going to do something different. Uh, I don't really like that card now. I thought it was going to take a card from a draw pile put it on top. Uh, but it, it very clearly said discard pile. So I'm an idiot here. Let's see. We're going to do that, which means don't use Offering, you stupid idiot. Got a lot of strength right now. We can hit him for a lot. I don't really want to use Impervious yet. God, dude, we got... We get some hella strength occasionally, which it's hard to be mad at. So he's vulnerable. No, he's vulnerable and weak is gone. He's going to do bad things to me. I'm ready to do bad things to him. Vulnerable. Knock. Not much I can do about this here, so continue on. He'll be vulnerable for just this turn and it'll wear off. What are you doing to me? You are going to weaken me and make me very vulnerable. 
gonna suck, but I got an intangible, which is dope. Makes this a hell of a lot better for me, so hit him there, hit him there, hit him there, hit him there. Gives me another strength now, because of the three attacks in a row. Dude, the friggin' intangible can be so damn good, because he was, that was a big attack he was gonna hit me with. And now he's doing stuff. He's buffing himself, which means that I'm all in on the damage front here. He's super vulnerable now. Four stray vulnerables in a row, and I get another strength on top of it. What are you buffing to? This is when we use Impervious. He got rid of all of his vulnerable. He's hitting me for 48. Okay, Impervious. That's frightening, to say the least. Um, what do I want in my hand on the next turn? I'd like this, because this just gives me more. So he's hitting me for 48. Tell you what, the fact that I'm blocking uh, all but 11 of that is not too, too bad. He's hitting me for 22! Stop being an asshole. Is that a good thing you can do? God damn, dude. Uh, okay. Block up. Weaken. That's a good thing to do. He's hitting for 16 now. That's more reasonable. We can actually negate all damage to this guy on this one. Which I think is, is absolutely something that you do here. We're pretty close to actually killing this guy. We need a couple of good uh, situations here. Yo, I think you go all in. You go all friggin' in. This could be the end of me or it could be a, a great, great experience. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. 19 to all, 20 to all, get out of my life, you stupid man. We're making fantastic progress here. It's a nut, oh my lord. Um, boy, this is so good. It's actually so good. Block not being removed, so good. Gain energy at the start of your turn. This is what we're doing, okay? Upon pickup, one potion, 50 gold, max HP plus 5, a card, and a, a upgrade, a random card. Strike upgraded, that's fine. It's fine by me. Gambler Brew, add a card to the deck. A good Thunderclap is fine by me. Deal damage equal to your block. Now we are cooking with gas, okay? The run has completely changed, okay? We're now focusing on, like, a weird block-heavy something run. We're in the final act as well. I did not expect to actually do this okay um, on this one for my first thing. Block is not removed. Though, sorry to turn. I feel like we should get that out immediately, but we like don't have any block going on here. Let's... Let's do some things here. First of all, pop this. We're going to get rid of the guy. How do I want to play this? How do I want to play this? Uh, I'm thinking. Hit him. Gain block. Gain six more block, and now we don't take any damage. Okay. It was there. I just had to figure it out. Uh, and, and I'm fine with this. Hell, another, uh, another cleave, and they're dead. Uh, just like that. <laughs> Easy enough for me. What do we got going on here? Um... Ethereal means we get it at the beginning. Dude, that's actually... No, that's not what it means. Uh, it means that it's gone if we don't use it. I'm okay with that. I think that's actually a pretty good thing for us. 
Give me some not- yeah, give me some of these, please. I I'd like to get some weird stuff. So lose all gold, obtain a relic. I'm gonna tell you what, dude. Uh, I can't do that. I'd love to. It's not in the cards right now. Constant whispering voices in the back of my head. Just like every day. Uh, I can heal. Who cares? Receive two madness. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero this combat. Lose 12 HP. I don't want these. So I'm going to lo lose five max HP. I thought it was just lose five HP. God, what a crappy room, dude. Frig that. Got no desire to deal with that ever again. Uh, Give me some block. Give me even more block. I retain my block, so who cares? I should be using uh, all block whenever, because I retain it. I believe. I don't. I only do that if I have the power active. What an idiot. Um. Okay. Flex on him. Battle trance on him. Nice work. Shrug it off on him. And then... Go for it. What am I putting on top of me? I'd like a strength on top of me. We're now, we have a, a series of black cards that are allowing us, these suck. Uh, we have a series of black cards that are allowing us to not, oh crap, uh, this is gonna hurt a good amount. Um, vulnerable, vulnerable, draw cards, impervious. Now that's what I'm talking about. Deal damage equal to your block. I have no block. But if we do this first... Now we're cooking with gas, dude. <laughs> Hit him with a big old 30 banger. That's what I like to do. Uh, okay. Another shrug it off. I'm honestly totally fine with. Now we raise an interesting question coming up in this next room. Fight and reward with a rare relic. Absolutely. You think I'm afraid of two little triangular boys? I'm frightened of them. Thanks for asking. Uh... Could be horrible here. Start out with one of these. You know what? I'm going to hit him with the regen right away. I'm a little bit afraid of these guys. Do the, do the smart thing here. One at a time. This guy first. Block. Block. More damage. I want to block all but two on them. Which honestly is... is pretty damn good and I regen a good amount as well got to get rid of this guy they got a lot of a uh, lot of HP right here armor impervious that's what I like to see um yeah I mean I mean we're just gonna do this and do that and they can't they, they cannot hit me for that much I'd like to get that block card in my hand at the beginning so that when I play things like Impervious, we can actually benefit from it. Dude, the fact that that is uh, going down to what it is makes my life hell of a lot better. Block is now removed. You know what? This is a nice time to just do a little bit of block action. Make sure we get that card out. These are these are bosses right here, Um, essentially. This is supposed to be difficult, uh, and, and it's proving it for sure. We can figure this out. A little bit of block. A little bit of flex on him. Okay. But you're weak. And what's wrong with that? I'm so angry, but now I'm not because we can do that. And now we bring one of these boys back on the next turn. I'm going to do... No, you know what? I'm going to do... I don't know. What do, we, what do I want to do here? Maybe just some strength. Body slam, damn it, deal damage equal to block. Deals 20, okay. Works for me. He's gonna hit me for four, but who the hell cares? Because I got full friggin' HP. I annihilated this. I did use a potion, so like, it's uh... I'm not gonna say cheaty, because cheaty's not the right word to say at all. But uh... We played it real well. This is gonna hurt. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my potions. I'm gonna get rid of these things. And you're going to hopefully give me a block or a good damage dealer in return. Or you're just going to get rid of them. Okay. Fine by me. I'll get hit for a lot here. Sucks to be me. But he's dead on this turn most likely. He's hitting for 30 on this one. 
You better be dead on this turn, because that will really friggin' hurt if you hit for 30. Okay, Pocket Watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards on your next turn. Holy crap, that's pretty good. Upgraded Iron Wave I'll take. Do you fight the boss and go all in, or do you rest? Resting is for the weak. This guy is a pain in the ass who deals a lot of damage. Okay. This is a good opportunity for me to get my block thing in early. But I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to need Impervious to handle this. A lot of burn. Okay. Feel the burn. It's okay. It's okay. We played less cards. We got more crap. He's hitting for 45. You see in this junk right here? He's hitting for 45, chat. I mean, you need, you need the block here. He's still hitting me for 25. Boy, that is... That's some garbage. I'll tell you that right there. That, that's, that's some garbage. He's weak. I think this is a good time to play a little block as well. I keep on playing my vulnerables out of the, their position. But we got intangible, which is fine. Would have liked it if it got used on a bigger attack, but can't win them all, I suppose. This is a full-on, we go all damage at this boy, and holy crap, we can, we can do a lot of damage to him. So, bang? No, hold up, hold up. I'm playing this wrong. There is the vulnerable. All damage taken. An HP loss to one this turn. Well, ain't that some crap, honestly. Um, why, why do anything, honestly? I mean, we can get a card ready for the next turn, I suppose. We can get a, you know what? Give me another battle trance for the next turn. Th these are all just gonna do one friggin' damage to him, which is so annoying. This guy is such a pain in the ass, and now he's gonna hit me with three more burns. Thanks a ton. Just keep on filling my deck with them. You're hitting for 45 again. God, dude. Okay, so draw four more cards. Gain 12 block. Gain 9 block. Gain 6 block. Get nice. Get vulnerable. He ain't hitting for that much, to be fair. I, I put a good amount of block on him, but boy, this is this is a fight and a half, let me tell you. I can't get any damage on him, and he's reducing everything to 5 on this turn. We can at least weaken him a little bit. Oh, he was going to hit me a little bit, but there's nothing I can't deal with. And he's going to put more burns in my deck, because that's what he does. He's hitting for 33. He's such an annoying enemy. Okay, so this is an impervious round for sure. I think it's also an offering round. We're going to go all in on this one. So, play this. Don't play anything else yet. Play this first. Take your hit. This deals 40 damage. Holy crap. Uh, play this. Play this. Play this. Play this. Bring back, uh... Bring back Battle Trance. Play this for 55? And he is super dead on the next turn. And we take zero more damage on this one, which is good. So we're going to get a relic out of this. Um, Still waiting for one that that truly transform. Oh, you're in this stupid phase, you son of a gun. I wish there was a way. He's vulnerable. Now. And I'm going to hit for six. I'm so annoyed by this dude. He should be friggin' dead. But instead, he's just a little son of a gun. And now he's dead. Give me a good relic. Good relic. Ginger, you can no longer become weakened. You know what? It's actually pretty okay. At the end of your turn, gain three block. That That's good enough for me. God, we can fight another boss here. A shop is so useful. Okay. There's a lot to do here. First of all, card removal. Get rid of this crap. That's officially gone. What do we got in terms of these? Cards which exhaust when played will instead discard. Don't care. 
End of turn 7, deal 4 damage, don't care. First time you lose HP each combat, draw 3 cards. Uh, oh man dude, that's, that's strong with what we have. More of this? Any zero things are now stupidly good. Zero, zero things are stupidly good because we just have the ability to draw more and more cards. Holy crap. There's, you're going to see this is going to go really well. I'm frightened to fight this. Oh boy, I'm frightened to fight this. This is a bad idea to fight this. I'm not going to fight this. I think that this is an intelligent move on my part. He dies in five turns. I forgot about this dude. This is a fun dude to fight. Uh, this is basically how much can I stay the hell away from this guy. So impervious, come here. You get played first. And then... And your turn. I don't care. You die in, you die in five turns. So we defend. And we don't really give a damn about attacking. Oh, but he loses strength, so I suppose that that's uh, a useful thing to do. He's hitting for 40. And we have so many just like one or two, or just one or zero uh, cards here, which is absolutely sick. This is exactly what we're trying to do with the run now. So, can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. So, I, I cannot. Yeah, I have a non-attack card, as you maybe have realized now we do one of these strength down this is gonna hurt uh eh, not that much it's gonna deal nine i really should just attack this guy I, I don't know what i'm doing here but i really should just attack this guy so attack down because if we can get him uh I don't want to do this. Vulnerable. Deals 10. I'll, I'll do and do 19. There we go. That's better. I, I'm going to tell you right now. I've played this guy horribly wrong. And hopefully this doesn't cost us the game. Um, But I'm playing horrible. Deal damage equal to your block. Okay. Uh, Start with this. Holy crap at the amount of cards I actually have right now. Uh, do this. 41. 27. Give me just a... Uh, da, 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 da. Do I have the other one? Yeah, down here. Give me that. 25. He will hit me for nothing, so who cares? Um, hit him. I don't care. He does nothing to me. This is how you're supposed to play him, and I have uh, shamelessly neglected that this entire time, which is a bit of an issue. Battle trance. He's hitting for seventy. Another battle. It doesn't work because I did the, 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 the thing, the thing, and the stuff and the things. Uh, okay. It hits for a lot. And he cannot hit me. And he will die after this turn. And we will move on with our day. Healing a nice 6 HP at the end of this. Um, and, and trying not to die later on. Sneko Oil. Become confused. Draw 3 cards. Okay. Double your block. Could be stupid powerful. Could be stupid powerful. Uh, we will get a curse from this chest. That's fine. We get self-forming clay. Whenever you lose HP, gain 3 block. Okay. I'm going to heal. Because we need to. This is... I, look, and I'm going to be real with you. We're not going to win. Uh, I don't have a run that can beat the final boss. So, it's a little bit of a... Uh, we're enjoying this as we go. But it's going to basically go out in flames here at the end. Start with this. We could actually probably just straight up kill one of them. Yeah, which is good. And this guy ain't going to do jack crap to me. Because I am intangible. Do I keep that intangible past this turn? I do not. Which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, Battle Trance, as we do. Block. 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 
That's why we're doing this. Is uh, This bad boy is going to be real nice right about now. 38 damage to this guy. He felt that. Let me tell you that. Uh, and they will not deal any bit of damage to me whatsoever. Doing good. I'm trying to figure out. I probably cut this video in my... Uh, in my editing process here. So if you're here in the second video, welcome back. 14 damage to all enemies. And vulnerable. That's what I like to see. A little bit of that right there. Yeah, I mean, this went really well. And we're going to end up healing a little bit here as well. Um, which is going to be very useful for us. Because I, I would really, I would like to... Uh, I would like to get to a point... I don't need any of those. I would like to get to a point where we don't rest at the resting places. This is far too late to do this guy. Uh, I really would love this, but sadly not a thing. Let's remove that curse then. I think that's a fine thing to do. The, uh, I'm going to tell you right now. We got way too many cards in our deck uh, for what I normally like. Th this is too many. I'm falling. Wow. Um, I You suck in every way. I guess lose Bash. Uh, it's honestly too expensive anyway. This is our last enemy before fighting the final boss. Um, suppose we'll see how that goes then. Um... This is a power. You know what? Friggin' YOLO swag. Uh, defend up. You can only be played if every card is an attack. Go all in, buddy. You want to attack? Be attacked. Become confused? Draw three cards. You know what? It's not worth it because we actually have... Uh, and we take damage from it so we got the cards at the end. That's... It's honestly like an insanely good synergy if we can get that at the beginning. We have a lot of things that synergize. It's just they end up not working when, when we uh, synergize, which is a small problem, obviously. Let's see. This is going to hit me for a lot. That's going to hit me for a lot. Uh, that sucks. That's going to hurt. Yeah, and then another 16 on top of that. All of that nice work we were doing uh, kills me. We're going to get 12 block next there this turn, though. So that's that's pretty damn good. Uh, these guys ain't doing jack crap. So let's figure out how we want to do this. We can double our block. We pop the card. Or did we not pop that card? We still have the thing that uh, we keep our block. Yeah, you know what? This is a turn where we should use that. Uh, bring this. Crap. This isn't what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, well, then on the flip side... I keep on playing that card wrong, dude. On the flip side, let's just go all in on this then. Uh, flex. Flex. I'm going to damage myself for the sake of this as well. Flex. Very well might kill everybody. Um, 15 to everybody. 15 to everybody. Yeah, absolutely destroyed. So that worked out okay. Lost HP on that one, though. And I don't like that in the slightest. Another body slam. Dude, I'm telling you. We're going to keep on taking it because you're going to see it's going to pay off on this fight. It's going to pay off and I'm going to look like a genius. Uh, Rest. You got it. The final boss is a pain in the ass, dude. Uh, And we're... It's not the normal guy. I swear to God, I fought the time turner like every single time uh, so far. Okay, so he's hitting for 20. That You know what? Go for it. Knock yourself the frick frack out, my man. I don't care. I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but that's fine by me. I'm going to... Every damage I take, I get more stuff on the next turn. He's hitting for 26. Block is not removed. You know what? Welcome impervious to the gang. Let's hit this guy a little bit. You know what? Free it. Give me this as well. Now deal 55 damage to this man. This is where I knew that was going to pay off, dude. We can stack this uh, 
stack this block because we're gonna keep this now and this is what makes it so damn strong so now we pop this the end of your turn gain block uh is good we can work with that randomize its cost could be really good Okay, use this. Give me some random zeros, dude. I can't draw. How many times am I gonna do it, chat? How many times am I gonna do it? I'm such an idiot. Okay. I'm still feeling okay about this. If I can get it down to one dude, I feel okay about this. He's hitting for 32, that's fine. Crap, it randomized him. And it's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, don't randomize that like that ever again, is what I'm going to say. But we're confused for the rest of the game. Y you got to pan out and give me stuff that's not not bad, okay? You have to. I'm asking kindly. Weaken him. He uh, Artifact wears off. That's what I like to see. Double your block. Um, while useful. I mean, it is useful. I just popped strengths for nothing. What am I doing, dude? What am I doing right now? I'm crapping the bed. I'm crapping the bed hardcore. I'm playing really bad. And it's going to cost me the game if I don't do this. He's hitting for friggin' two. Okay. Game block. This is fine, honestly. I don't care. Flex on him. Strike him. It's fine. 18 block now. Which is very nice. The fact these guys keep on healing themselves is literally the most annoying thing on the earth. But that's okay. That is okay. Defend. Damage. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Good amount right there. 38 damage to the head. These guys are just... <laughs> It's amping up, and I can't defend it. And we're going to go out in flames because of it. Uh, I mean, I, I just can't defend this dude. He's hitting for 44. I, I, how do you handle it? The final bosses are brutal, dude. This guy's hitting for 44, too. Uh, well... God, and then we ended up having just an absolute crap fest here. Uh, we are dead. Sadly. Well, there's not much I can do about it. We're dead. We're dead. Super dead. Have a nice day. See you in hell. <laughs> Look, man, I tried. I tried real hard. Uh, we, we took a run that was doomed to fail and we brought it to the final boss and for that i could be pretty happy that's gonna do it though for this episode if you did enjoy as always a like on the video is uh useful i know that this probably got split into two since this is an hour long video uh i'm gonna see i'm gonna see about that uh i think that maybe people would enjoy if it was split into two but i feel like then i have to upload them back to back on the same day i don't know we'll figure it out um but slay aspire we're gonna do more of it we're gonna do it again next week uh and the week after that and it's going to be a really fun time hopefully you enjoyed have a good one Bye-bye.